Good night, everyone. Today is Monday, and we're going to go over with a video technical out day from Monday. Okay, what a day. Uh, the move that, w that we were spreading happened. Uh, even though we were in the tray, we got into the tray with the Aussie tray, which I'm going to explain later on. Uh, the, the concept for the tray is still valid. I believe that we were on the right side of the market. The thing is that the stop uh, looks like the house is going to do a flat, so we're going to spend that all, uh, in about a few minutes right here. So what we're going to try to do today is, like I always say, trying to find a rhythm on um, the market as a whole, not as an individual pair. I know that some people like the Euro dollar, I know some people like the house, I mean, that's why they're different pairs, but I don't look at any particular pairs as a, as a pair, I look as a whole, it's a risk or resolve. Uh, and trying to get the patterns that the market is following um, because uh, as you guys, the, the one that been with me for a long time, they understand that uh, is not every pair looks uh, follow the same patterns, but at the end of the day, it's the same patterns. Uh, that's hard to understand and that's something that you guys going to be learning with me right here on Elliway Forecast. Uh, so what we're going to start doing now is we're going to start with the S&P right here. Uh, let me. Uh, I have to let you know, guys, that I got 15 minutes to the video. If I no cover, I'm gonna try to do another one, because today is a is a good day to, for trading. Be honest with you guys. Okay, this is the S&P. This is what we're proposing here. As everyone knows, this is a three, four already right here. And one, two, three, four, five, or a double six, five, whatever we wanna call it. Okay, this is a correction here, and then we we label it like this as a triangle A. A, B, C, D, E, and then a truss for the triangle. Okay, everyone know that. Everyone know that wave four, I'm sorry, wave five at least needs to pass wave four by 23.6 percent. Already I ship it, but this is what I want to sh uh, show you guys. We are not that clear about the count, even though I can see from here that there is five waves. So, if this is the trust for the triangle, we're going down, guys. We're going down here. Now, this is the Elio Way Oscillator here showing the divergency. If we change this indicator and we put in the RSI, there is no divergency yet. So, it is proper because this right here, this right here can be can be a series of one two so if that's the case what's gonna happen is the market is gonna tr is gonna trade lower tomorrow which is gonna hurt the US dollar and then the market is gonna bounce back to a new high probably to around the 1.618 percent of weight four so technically if can be something like this if let me take let me take that this right here okay it's gonna be something like this because I want I, I know where I'm coming from and the thing is it can be something like this this can be and that's the case this can be it's gonna be a series of one two right here and then it's gonna be something like this it is possible I went into the short ten and then this is no way five, this is no one five. It's gonna be something like this is the end of three. And then the market is gonna trade lower to around this support area, the twelve twenty six level, and then it's gonna be bounced back in wave five and that's gonna be the end that I've been calling okay that's possible so now we say okay how the triangle how the triangle is gonna come out right here it's gonna come out like a b c a b c d e and then the series of three four okay i want you guys to want uh, to look at this pattern right here is strong dollar weak dollar strong dollar that's what i believe the whole rhythm of the market is gonna go for the next for the rest of the week strong dollar weak dollar and strong dollar again 
Okay, that's the S&P. Let's go now to the Euro dollar. The favorite pair for everyone right here. Okay, as everyone know, we were one of the first one in the whole market to call that there's gonna be a move higher because everyone was spreading wave two in right here, and we were calling to the other side. Let me let me let me, let me be clear about it. There's nothing technical, even though the the down tr uh, trend line from 142.83 is already broken in the four hours. So that means that this should take higher. So what I'm expecting is this. Let me let me go right here. Okay, this is the whole move since 9 and 2966. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A, A, B, C, and a flat B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, C. This, in, this move right here in an A, B, C have to happen from here. So, that's what I'm expecting. That's what we were expecting here. So, how we count this, this whole mess right here? This is the best I can. A, B, C, W, A, B, C, Y, A, B, C. Well, I'm sorry, S. Right here it says S. I'm sorry, I mis mis mislabeled right there. S. And then A, B, C, uh, a, Y. That's going to be A. A, B, Z, B, A, B, C, C, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, E. A triangle connector right here. And then the truss for the triangle. So, so far it looks like we have one, two, three, four. So far right now we're trading on the 23.6 level of this one right here. We should get a high later on in, in London today and it's going to reverse tomorrow. But this reverse, it won't pass this level. This reverse is going to do something like this. This is the lower point. Let's say that we go right here that the, this label A should be this number okay should be a number around 1456 which is the 61.8 percent of the whole this whole move right here so let's say that we reach 1456 and then we're gonna get back to 3278 and then it's gonna go higher so how it works same as S&P Dora strong, Dora weak, Dora strong. Do you guys understand? That's how I think the euro is gonna go. And then, let me see if I can locate it pretty fast right here in the four hours, so you guys can see it with a better view. Okay, here we go. Here I am. Okay, this is what I'm expecting. This is what I'm expecting in the euro dollar here. Look, A B C W triangle S one two three four A B and C to around one thirty six forty six. If we get the fives right here, should be around thirty four sixty three. What we're gonna try to do is gonna try to get long as soon as the, this this move proof corrected. We're gonna try to get long right here again against this loss right here to to get this right here. That's what we, that's what we're planning on the euro dollar. This is a clear three-way, so wait, Y or C needs to be a clear three-way, no other way around. So this is the move that we're expecting for the euro dollar right there. Okay, euro GB, uh, euro pound, one of my favorites, as everyone know. Okay, this is it. five ways from here. One, two, three, four, and the ending diagonal like we call on Thursday um, on the weekend. But this is the key, guys. Look at the rhythm. Look, and we're gonna concentrate on the euro, which is the first pair right here. Look, five ways from the lows right here. So what's gonna happen? The euro needs to get weak and wave B to get another leg. Do you guys see that everyone is following the same pattern? Okay, the Aussie. This is this is a good one right here. I'm labeling this as a wave four. A stir can be W, and the top can be y, a wave five. But we got five ways from here. We got in right here around 99.22. We got stop out. I'm sorry about that one. No, we cannot win at all. But that's how it is. You see how much we risk? 44 picks. 
and I still believe that we were right. So it looks like it's doing A B C W, A B C S, and then A B C in a flat right here. Now, what happened? Because it is corrected, and it went over the beginning here. This has to be wave B, right here. Then, what's gonna happen is that what's gonna happen? I'll see the dollar is gonna get strong, and then the dollar is gonna get weak. So how will you look this in the whole picture? Very simple. Let me find out on the Aussie four hour. Let me see what it is. So the thing is that it's in only allow me to have five opening charts. If no, it would be better. Let me show you the Aussie four hours right here. You're gonna see it here in the big picture. This can be five W S Y another W right here. And label them as a four, but what's gonna happen is look, arrow weak, er, I'm sorry, Dora strong, Dora weak, and from here we don't know, because the thing is that if we get, as we get strong, like should be in five ways down, as we should trade around 97, around the 97 field. If that's the case. If that's the case, it should trade one, uh, around 101, which is lower than here. And it can reverse, because I'll see, you guys, if you refer to the uh, to the weekly and the daily charts, there is a count that it can, this, this can be count as a five if we count the first one, two, as a flat. So, I mean, that's about the Aussie, but it's the same patterns, guys. That's what I want to show you same patterns okay this is the New Zealand look we got into a trade right here I'm sorry right here we got stopped by 3 peak to break even trade higher around 100 picks now it's coming back what's gonna happen one two three four five that's what I got into the trade because the one of the yeah I see those 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 five right there so from here we got a B Z W, same pattern as a euro. A B C W, A B C S. Now we got A. The Aussie is leading the euro right here. It's ahead of the uh, of the euro. Probably it's gonna do an extraordinary to a compress structure to here in this wave B. So from here, look. Dollar strong like it is right now. Weak, strong. Don't you guys see that everyone has the same pattern? So for me, it's clear we are in way, we are in way C, or way Y, or way V, or from the moon from early November, and then we should trade higher in risk before we turn lower. Now I want to be clear about it. If you guys see on the on the website, the 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 U.S. dollar charge is showing a possible flat, but the thing is that the the lower point on the chart is the 1.618 that ABC so we got three ways if we got a new low on the euro dollar, US dollar what's gonna happen is it's gonna create this pattern too so guys I think that I cover most of the things let's leave it there and then uh, hope, let's hope that tomorrow the dollar gets strong so we can get a trade and risk from the uh, from the balance of the euro dollar move. So let's leave it there and get back to you guys tomorrow. Thanks.